Welcome everyone to our social system mapping some map tech talk for May 24th, 2021. Um, today we have Christine and Kara, your usual hosts, and we usually have Tim on tech talk, but unfortunately he's got another commitment that he's got to deal with today. So we won't have Tim and I see Joe has shown up. Welcome, Joe. Um, so for those of you who are new, we have all these sessions every month. Today's is the, the fourth Monday Tech Talk session where we focus on something um, about uh, the technology of social system mapping. Next Monday, we're gonna do um, our first inaugural sense-making session where we try to combine HSD models and methods with social system mapping and um, I've been giving this a lot of thought and I'm rather like, oh my God, what did I do to myself? This is, I don't know that I can do this, but, but well, I think it'll be fine. I'm really excited about it. Um, and then the following Monday, Lisa and Eggstead's gonna share the human systems dynamics map with us in the on-ramp. And then on the third Monday, we're gonna, um, uh, in June, we're gonna look at, talk some more about exploring beyond the network horizon, which was a thing that I sort of put together a few months ago um, and did we did one session part sort of skimming over it, but we're gonna go a little deeper into it this next month. Um, hang on one second. Kara's putting links to everything I'm talking about in the chat, but she will also put those links into uh, a follow-up email. So if you don't aren't in the mood to grab links at the moment, just feel free to ignore them. Um, today, uh, so there's a couple other, yeah, um, anyway. There's lots of ways that we've got lots more uh, opportunities for you to learn more about social system mapping as well as the technical parts. Kara's putting links to all of those resources, including other recordings into the chat. Again, she'll send those as follow ups as well. And um, I do office hours at four o'clock for half an hour every Thursday, four o'clock central. So feel free to jump on if you want to talk. Okay, so why is nothing moving? Um, for today's agendas, we just got through the, we're doing the greetings and agenda review. Um, I'm gonna, we have one new um, piece of technology in some app that I'm gonna share that'll take about five minutes. It's um, pretty useful, but pretty quick and simple. And then we're gonna use Team Retro, which is a tool that I do use for, with clients to do a retrospective of an engagement, a project. Um, so we're gonna use Team Retro for a couple minutes to find out what questions people have and what topics they wanna to talk about. Uh, and then we'll sort of clump them and see if we can split into breakouts. This is a small enough group that we might just all stay together. We usually have an extra half an hour, but this week we won't. So I just wanted to, to let you know that that's not gonna happen at the end of the hour. There are times when if you have a social system map that you take care of, like I have lots of social system maps that I take care of, when you'll be, for instance, online with a subset of a map, like you guys are all, most of you I think are on our um, community of practice social system map. And um, I want to ask you to go in there and update your, uh, your connections and I might, it might be the case that we added a couple more questions to the survey, and I would like you to go in and answer those questions. Um, but I don't wanna send an email blast to the whole network. I just wanna send it to you guys because we're having a conversation right now. And what that usually <clears throat> looks like is I say, I'd like you to go back into some app and you'll say, I don't have my link handy. Like um, searched for Jim. And I would, my preference would be to, to just say, okay, click this and send the invitation, but I know he's not gonna look at his email right this moment because he's looking here and that's just not gonna happen. So that means that I have to click on his link here, go here, get his link, copy his link. And then I can't just put it in the chat because it's his own link. So I have to go into the direct message and I have to find him and I'm doing it literally right now and I'm putting his link into his direct message. And there have been sessions when my job was to co-facilitate with somebody who was doing a map exploration and I spent the whole time just finding people's links and putting links in the direct message. And uh, I, after having done that several times in the last couple of months, I went, this is just really stupid. We need a solution. So uh, what I did was, or what we did was we had Alex just, no, it's not. Uh, 
add a take the opt-in form and sort of pare it down into a simpler set of steps and um, make what we're calling the get my link form. So do you go to setup? Yeah, it was a hassle, right, Susan? <laughs> it's like, I, and I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to have Kara join every time I'm facilitating a map because I can't, like, I'm, I'm not a very good co-facilitator because I'm so focused on getting the links. And, and then anyway, so, okay, so if you go into setup in your map and go into the op, define opt-in form area, then right here, if you've set it up so that anybody, you can make it so that you're sharing a link <clears throat> for people to opt onto the map, that's this upper part. But right down here, we have, now we have this new thing called the send me my link form. It's a link. So I'm clicking on it now to get it copied. And I'm gonna put that link into the chat for everyone. And so now, if you are so inclined, and if that were my, uh, exact ask, I would say, please click on your link. And it would ask you for your email, just the email, no name, no lots of other stuff. You'll put your email in, click send, and it will send an email. It still is going to be in an email, I guess, but send an email to your inbox with just your link in it. So it pairs that whole, you don't have to go through, you could go through the opt-in form process, but then you have to verify and go through all these extra steps. This is just much quicker for the user and easier for you. So that's our new feature this month. Any questions? Hmm. Comments? Hmm. And all of you feel free to unmute yourselves if you if you just like to make sounds. We're not, <laughs> we're not uh, I don't need it to be like perfectly silent. <laughs> and I actually kind of like seeing faces and hearing voices. <laughs> so, so this is for people who previously set up or signed on to the map yeah, and just need to get it again. Yeah, so they're already on there. Um, it's not gonna work for people who are not already on there. So for people who are not already on there, you'd use the opt-in form. Questions, anyone? No, a short I've, comment. I've, I've used the feature and it works really well. So thank you for making it happen. <laughs> Good, thank you. It also, um, if if they put their email in there, and uh, they're not, they're in the map, but they used a different email, it will give them a little pop-up message saying, hey, we don't have that email, try another one, or talk to your map administrator to, to get let in. So it won't just add them. Um, I, I was wondering about how, you know, how, use, how, how useful this feature is. And then I just started thinking, well, I want to actually use it next week. Um, and then, because at any time you're sense making with the group, yeah. it seems yeah. like it's useful. Yeah. Um, or at least the first few times until they're like, oh, yeah, I bookmarked this. So with new introductory groups or groups that haven't convened much. Yeah. And, and there will be people who never bookmark it, <laughs> who just you always have to give that. I mean, that's just my experience. So. Um, uh, yeah, and there, even if you're, you know, like we'll often do a sense making some kind of session where we'll say it doesn't matter, you know, if, if you haven't updated your map, like we don't really want to think about it right now. So, I mean, we don't say that, but it's like, so we're not asking them to update their map right now, but invariably, even if that's not your ask, people will say, oh, I have an update. I don't, it's been a long time, you know, and then they'll start texting you that they need to update their map. So it, it comes up no matter what. So, um, yeah, cool. Any and it's other? also, now that it's up, you know, I'm up here updating my map mm -hmm. because it's easy and right in my face and yeah. you're all there. Yeah. So we're going to start using that frequently <laughs> for our map. <laughs> and um, if you have a map to keep updated, um, I there you go. <laughs> 